everything and set in the armholes of his sleeve, trailing down his skirt and even all over the booties and over the knee boots that the girls were wearing. I kind of like that, that whole ruffling wave, <laughs> a sound wave from another planet. It was very pretty. I think where Carl really excels is in the amazing mix of how he brings together leather and fur. And the intarsia with the furs where they were actually pieced in place or with those interesting wave details. Even the cuff of a jacket or the hem of a fur had a wave curvature detail to it. You can trust Carl to sort of pull, you know, bits of pop culture into his collections and give them a, a relevance, you know, I think beyond the runway. I loved all the mint and that interesting kind of powdery sky blue. It was very bright and cheery. Fendi is probably the best craftsmanship in Italy when it comes to fur, when it comes to shoes and leather goods. But it is always combined with like a great technology research. They're probably the one that has more innovative fabrics, more innovative technique. You can really see how technology has really influenced Carl and the idea of being able to bring modernity to so much of the collection. Fendi, it's very intellectual, very cerebral kind of fashion. You really got to work to get a, your mind around what he's doing there. It's kind of like his little uh, experimental factory of fashion at, at Fendi, definitely. And that showed this season in particular. High necklines, dirndl skirts, and all sorts of great fur handbags. And if you looked closely, of course, the guitar strap, that Fendi made so important on so many of their handbags. It's been embroidered, hand embroidery that had a bit of a folkloric spirit on so many of those great handbags as well. The real marvel about Fendi, though, is what they can do with furs. Fall is always great at Fendi just because you know, it's sort of mind-blowing what they're doing there. And uh, these were very extravagant, but very cool, I thought, too. The Fendi Show, it's a tour de force of ideas and of creativity and also just of workmanship. I mean, you can't believe those that incredible sort of intarsia work that something looks like a very elaborate picture painting and you realize that it's all done with little insets of fabrics and materials. Like velvet, sort of like vintage, but it felt really nice. I would love to wear it. It's cool, but also very like womanly, you know. fabulous collection and I think it was so now. I think this was the purest example that fashion needs time and that fashion is about craftsmanship. When you saw all the materials, I mean how they work with leather, how they work with fur, it's like feather light. It was such a beautiful collection and so now it's like these waves that are in the air, you know, that everything is changing, everything is in motion. This collection said exactly that. A lot of textures and colors like I had a striped bikini but then I had a lace top it was like a lot going on but it all worked so it was nice only Fendi can make 
that much stuff go together. Fantastic show, all wavy and ruffly, kind of futuristic and yet kind of very romantic, and kind of organic, the way like the shoes kind of space age, but looked like that they came out of nature, very light construction even though it was fur, big commercial hit. Carl Lagerfeld is a genius at that. He loves to look always forward and never uh, look back. Mm -hmm.